when you're working with php sometimes uh, you make mistake like you will call a function that doesn't exist or you will make any some kind of an error and you're when you preview it you're not able to see that error and it's hard to debug what's going on uh, the quickest way to check is first of all you go to inspect on your chrome and you check in the network tab refresh the page and see if there are any 500 or any 500 related errors they, these are mostly related to your application so this is number one spot that tells you that you have some errors that are not showing on your page by default if php has turned off those errors in your uh, configurations you will not see them the quickest way to see them is you type error underscore reporting underscore all and you also need to make sure that your errors are turned on the first part is it uh, we need to see like which type of errors we want to see if i look at the documentation you will see that we need if we want to just see the e underscore error types warning notice uh, we can use these type of flags but if you want to see all type of errors the easiest is just to make e underscore all and you need to make sure these errors are displaying on the page so once you make this change and if i go here and if I refresh you will see that this error is showing and also it tells you which line it is on so it tells us the error is on the line number eight once you resolve this error like let's say i comment this and you refresh the upper code is working fine now another way is like uh, if let's say you you're working on a staging environment and you don't want these errors to be displayed to other people but only to you what you could do is you could have some kind of a special get parameter that only you know that you will be passing let's say if dollar underscore get my test underscore errors if this is set if it's set and let's say you want to only show if the value of this is one so if you put your code this code inside this condition then the normal people will not see the errors but only if you try to pass this in your get parameter you will be able to see the errors this way you will be easily be able to uh, see the errors and not the other users of your website will see it so i hope this helps another way is if you're working in in a development environment let's say you're working in a zamp on your windows machine you can turn on the errors by default inside your php configurations so you need to go to your c zamp and then you go to your php folder inside this php you need to edit this php.ini once you edit this file inside this file you need to search error underscore reporting and you will see which type of errors are turned on by default e underscore all is perfect so this is fine but you see that display underscore errors is turned off that means no error will be shown on your page so you need to make it on and then you need to restart your apache service i will restart from the task manager go to services and i will stop apache once it started you will see that errors start to appear even without this code if i comment this code you will see the errors are still visible so this is one of the ways to turn on your error reporting i hope this helps thank you for watching